Dolly friends and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I have here a rather um, diversified crowd of dollies that I'm going to be sharing. I was talking to my good dolly friend Ayla at Ayla Var and I will have her channel in the description and I was just saying to her that, you know, I have been getting and finding so many things and you know it's it's overwhelming because I am not really good about posting videos and you know they just start to accumulate and things start to um, you know keep growing and growing and so I thought this would be a neat way to um, kind of show what I've been finding my finds um, as some of you know I have uh, I hit a, a block sale or um, what you might call yard sale, uh, except this is like a huge block in our neighborhood of homes that, you know, collectively come together and put tons of things out. So I have a couple of big bags of those finds that I'm going to show you, but I'm also going to show you some things that I picked up along the way. Um, yeah, there's a, a collab that's going to be coming up with some of our Dolly channels and in a search and a hunt for uh, looking for a specific type of Barbie for that collab coming up, which I'm thinking we're gonna do an announcement soon. Uh, I found these ladies and I was going to use them for this collab. And these are all thrift store Barbies that I found, but once I fixed them up, spawned them and you know, gave them some outfits, there was no way that I was going to do anything to these girls. I mean. This is an authentic 1983. This is the Superstar Barbie mold, in case you didn't know it. She still has her original ring on. And she just, I mean, who doesn't love the rubber bending legs, the click legs? I just love that. I put her in this beautiful outfit. As I say, I gave her a spa. She's beautiful. Didn't want to touch her. And then here is the Crystal Surprise Barbie. Look at, she still has her earrings, both earrings. And she still has her Superstar Barbie ring and this gorgeous face, this iconic face. And I put her in a power suit and these lovely shoes. Ayla, when she visited, she just gave me a whole pack of shoes. And they look beautiful with her power suit. In fact, all of the girls here are sporting a pair of shoes that uh, were given to me by Ayla. This girl, too, she, when she came in her dolly baggy, her neck was broken and I did epoxy it and glue it back. But then, you know, I sanded it and, and you know, made the color the same. But I just gave her this cute little collar because I just thought it was so neat on her. So cute. She still, her head still moves and turns. She still has her original earrings. Looks so cute. And then again, shoes from Ayla Avar, which I just love. Those shoes came in so handy. And these girls are all, you know, in age they're not um uh, you know 90s barbies by any means this one is just so pretty i just love the head tilt more shoes from ayla look at this dress love 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 anyway so yes and then this gal too she was a thrift store find and as a matter of fact when we were checking out one of the ladies said oh my goodness are you going to take her and i was obviously taking her she was a dollar i think a dollar and some change she's got her shoes on this is a a doll that my friend Marna is telling me um, was created by Ludacris and she has um, I believe I I might have shown that she has sent uh, some of her friends along but anyway I couldn't pass her up for a buck and change love that and yeah I have been um, you know again another Ayla nod making my little uh, mini verse pets here they come in these really cool little um mid-century modern let me see these little mid-century modern little shelves my daughter helped me she made these candles that are really cool and they kind of give off a glow um in certain certain lighting which is really really neat all right, and then I did visit Gigi's again, and if you could see there by that motley crew of vintage dolls, I this is one of the thrift store finds that I did find, but we do have the pregnant midge from the movie somewhere, and I just had to put this midge that I found at the thrift store. I mean, she's a beautiful midge, just gorgeous, and I put her in the little dress. I do know that I have my original midge somewhere, but also, if you know, you know, if you've seen the movie, Here's Ricky 
he's in his original little outfit. Here is uh, Growing Up Skipper. She plays a, a, a nice little role in the movie. She's got her little mini skirt under there, and as she grows, which she's done now, she's obviously gone through her little hormonal transformation. She's wearing her maxi skirt there. And then this doll, which is a super, super rare find, I found her at Gigi's too in her little junk pile. She's got like a little pile in the back of the store. She's the video Barbie that's from the movie. And she was also like, you know, just one of those wild dolls to find. And then of course the iconic Alan, who is just, I mean, in pristine condition. So loving my Alan, loving my dolls. And um, I also got this Mego share when I was there visiting. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. I spot her hair and she's lovely. And um, she has a second little look here with a maxi dress and her white shoes, which are beautiful and fun to have. And let me see, because I am going to be um, piling these out here and uh, we're going to see what other goodies I have in store. Now, um, while I was at, I think this came with one of the thrift store dolls, by the way. I just um, changed her up in one of the outfits. But this is a really, really cute little Angora sweater and a skirt. And those, I believe, are authentic Barbie items. Um, I also got, and I'll be showing these because I've got some more uh, Blythe dolls, too, that I'm going to be sharing. But I got some really cute uh, Blythe clothes when I was there really 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 cute Blythe clothes that I'm going to be sharing and when you go to Gigi's there's always freebies she's always got you know free to a good home please adopt and you know I couldn't help myself let me just put this down here this little uh, Dutch boy so cute still has his tag it's an F&B doll vintage F&B he's just gorgeous he's got his skates look at those skates they're still attached. Look at these wooden clogs. Just beautiful. He still has a scarf. He's got his clothes eyes. So, so cool. Let me see if they had the year that he was made. Um, could it be on his neck here? Let me see. Anyway, free, free, free. I just couldn't pass him up. I believe, what does it say here? 1970 1970 so yeah he was totally a freebie love him oops there went the candles luckily these um mini verse candles can uh take a fall because that is really a slippery little little stand there i love that stand these two dolls here i don't know if you can see let me see he's kind of blocking. These two dolls here were found by my husband who goes out thrifting for me every now and again. He found those girls and uh, he found this vintage 70s Ken, which is, you know, he's in his swim trunks and, you know, he's, he's ready for some fun on the beach. So those were some finds from the thrift store my hubby got for me. Thank God, you know, when he's out there, he knows that, you know, what to look for and I, I, I just like those girls. They're sawdust dolls. They're very, very old. I believe they're Lithuanian dolls. And they're just so cute. And then um, here on the floor, uh, oh, and he also picked up this little, uh, it's an alpaca. And it's got real alpaca fur. I love that. Love that. And uh, these were also freebies from the giveaway pile at Gigi's. I could not believe this. She's a little bisque doll. I made her little bonnet for her. Everybody's been cleaned. I washed her little outfit, made her some little booties. And um, look at this sweater. There were sweaters just in the giveaway pile. I mean, these are going to look great on my Blythe dolls. This one is actual wool, and it's got the buttons. But the neat thing is you don't have to work the buttons because they're, they're snaps. So that's a really neat little feature. I love that. Also, to go with the woolen sweater, some woolen leggings. So cool. In the giveaway pile for free. And this cool little hat, and it's got a little felt brim there. And then this little guy, which I could not leave there. He is the cutest. He's a rust bear. And um, does he have... 
his date on him. I don't know that I see his date, but he is just an adorable little bear. I've already cleaned him up, and he's just so cute. I just love him as a little lovey for my reborns or just to hang out on a shelf. And then this pack of clothes that I've already washed and um, cleaned were all in the free pile. These are vintage little doll dresses. Look at that. Just adorable. Free. This beautiful little silken little headband. And um, this is a little, um, like an overskirt, like a little apron. I love that. And then this little dress here. Look at how cute that is. I think these, some of these will fit my little fairy dolls, my little elf dolls that I have. Such a pretty little dress. All these were in the giveaway pile, which I just love when going to visit Sherry and Gigi. They always have such wonderful things in the giveaway pile, and it's always so nice. Um, let's see. Moving on. This, as I say, is going to be like a mishmash of things because... I just am terrible about showing anything. I have some new mini extras. This is, um, I don't know if this is series two. It could be series two already. I know that I have the first set. These gals were just really neat and they really appealed to me. So I had to get them. And then, you know, I could do a bunch of videos and just like, oh, here's this, here's this. I'm going to unbox this. I'm gonna... But I'm not really good about that. This is the Disney Illy dolls. And in case you didn't know, these girls, their eyes are painted. They don't have the inset eyes like the first run. But I loved her outfit. It's very cool. I can't really get it in a frame here. Let me see. It's the Bambi version. She's really sweet. And I know a lot of people have been changing her out of this outfit and putting it on their Blythe dolls or their other dolls, which is really cool. And let's see here. I am just messing up everything, but I'm going to uh, get to some of my other yard sale, block sale finds. Here is the Ursula. I love her. She's just awesome. Just fun. I mean, oh my gosh. Love, love, love the looks and the different things you can do. And this is the lineup of the other girls. I saw this one, the I Love Mickey Mouse, but I did not see the I Love Stitch. She's really a cool one, too. But since I never got the first run of these dolls, I'm thinking that I am going to go and order those. Because, as I say, I never saw them. They never came in my neck of the woods. I am also going to, uh, let me see here. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I should, well, I've got a lot. Like I say, I'm so sorry. I'm, I, I've just got a lot, and I've got more coming, which is terrible, but I just wanted to touch on some of these things before they get lost in the melee. While my, my husband was out and he picked up some of those little thrift store finds and vintage finds, he was in his hometown, and they were having like a little art fair there, and he found this little Wednesday type outfit for an 18 inch doll. And I thought, who better to fit it? I had made those stockings and I said, who better to look good in this is then one of my Disney Illy dolls. This is the, um, I believe she was the Tinkerbell. And I've, I know they've done different versions of her now, but I thought this little uh, Wednesday looked so cute on her, this little Wednesday outfit. And the shoes too were from an art fair. Loved that, loved that. So I'll move her off to the side. And I had done a little uh, snippet on some big eye dolls and my um, Lonely Lisa doll. She was the 24 inch and I found the, I think she's 28 inch, I wanna say. She's a tall drink of water. I love her. She was a great score. She's got her original shoes, her original dress. And the thing about the other one, she was a 1976 version. This is the original 1964 Hallmark Lonely Lisa. So I love her. She's just a beautiful, beautiful doll. And I was so happy to find her in this Buffalo print check. And um, 
I also was looking to complete my very last um, what I'm, I mean, I'm having a brain uh, cloud here. Um, my very last of my uh, jet set dolls and uh, Pinky Cooper and the jet set. And I found, I have Ginger now and I have her dog mint in box. So that was a fun thing to complete my Pinky Cooper and the jet set. Completed them. I'm so happy. I showed them too in another series, but I'm glad to have Ginger and her beloved little pooch mint in box and as I was trying to um, you know complete some things I was really kind of you know upset with myself that I didn't get um, I didn't finish off the set of the um, monster dolls I know a lot of people had you know completed their series of the monster dolls and I had only gotten like three of them and there were five in total and if you go to look for monster dolls now oh my goodness the prices that you will find on the Monster Dolls are crazy, especially this one. You can't even see this one anymore. I made, I make their little lovies for them. I made this cute little bear for her because I just thought it was just so darling for her. I love it. And yeah, this little girl, forget about it. You can't even find her anymore. They don't come with shoes, so the shoes I did get. And um, yeah, these, these dolls are very, very hard to find. This one, I think you still might be able to find on Amazon, but even still, yeah, and I made this crazy little bunny for her too, but they are impossible. I made these little shoes for her. But I wanted to just finish up and round out my little Monst doll uh, collection, so I had all five of them, but as I say, they are really super duper hard to find. When I was at Gigi's, one of the things, and this reminds me of Lissa, and uh, Doll Joy Lissa, she had one of her childhood dolls up on her um, screen here. And this was an additional coat. This is the Fisher Price. Um, and this is an old girl. Let me see. I know she's got her tags on her. Hold on a second. I'm going to um, undo this coat because this was another Fisher Price little outfit change for her. But she originally came in this outfit and you will know this Fisher Price style if you were a kid and you were learning how to tie buckle you know she's got everything she's got all of her little you know accessories that you would learn to tie and buckle and button and I know she had a tag in here somewhere but either way this outfit tag is I think it's 1976 but oh my goodness and I love her that she still has her little googly eyes she still has her original ribbons and she was in the free in the adopt me please pile which I cannot believe she's all been um, disinfected and sprayed and I just love that she's just all together complete with an additional little outfit so that was a fun thing there from Gigi's in the free pile and oh boy now we're gonna go to let me see if i can do this properly here in some of the things that i got from the block sale the yard sale and yeah it's all barbie it's all about barbie it's going to be about barbie let me see if i can move this off here this was such a find i was so happy to find this it's a little cafe set here. Let me put this little mug there. That's where that goes. A little, oh my gosh, there's even more goodies. I mean, oh my goodness. I didn't even expect all this, really. This was just, like I say, a block sale. And when I tell you they were practically giving these things away, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't resist. There's a little something in there that's my hubbies. But anyway... This has a little thing that comes down like this. And, you know, if you are a barista or you've gone to Starbucks, you know how cute these little things are. And to have, I say, as I say, all these cute little accessories. Oh, my gosh. I was so, so happy to find that. And she, they, she, does, she did have the Barbie with it. 
let me see here's another giant bag from this yard sale i just oh my gosh oh my goodness let's see here is the barista that came with the cafe i think i think i got the cafe and all these accessories here for five dollars with the doll so that was a cool thing i also got this really really cool vintage mycene barbie i mean really neat rubber bending legs these dolls oh my gosh so this was a yard sale find and she just ended up giving me like a bunch of stuff i think they were just it was like the last day and they were trying to get rid of stuff. look at this vintage midge she still has her earrings she's wearing this barbie logo dress i don't know if you can see that there I am telling you, these dolls, wow, wow, wow. So, yeah, there is Midge. I'll put her off to the side. Then I got this really cool, I don't know if she's Chelsea. I don't know if she's Steffi or State. I don't know, but she's wearing this cute little gymnastic. She's very articulated, and she just looks like she could be Midge's daughter or little sister. She's just so cute. Love her, putting her off to the side. Um, here is a Barbie like little uh, bee hive type of beekeeper type thing so I guess Barbie is a beekeeper at one point making her own honey she's got flowers and there's the little bee there in the flowers I don't know if you could see that I am so sorry everything is so janky and I know this is probably going to be long and I'm really really sorry about that but I am trying Oh my gosh, this little Barbie monkey would have been great for yesterday's Cheeky Monkey Monday. I'll have this little monkey right there. And then this, which is so cool, and I love this. Oh boy, let me see if I could push you back a bit. Oops, sorry Barbie. This is the cool piece de resistance. This is the Barbie yacht. Look at that. Or their little speed bow. I love it. I love it. They've got the little floaty that hangs off the end of the boat and I'd like to put that in Marna's Thimble Lake and just go take the Barbies around there it's so cool it reminds me of the glass bottom boat if you ever saw that movie because it's got a little glass bottom there with a little dolphin peeking out and what is this more Barbie so and a Scooby hiding in there Scooby here's another cap to that other little drink there Wow, so this boat was awesome. The boat, believe it or not, was $3. $3. So I was really, really pleased. Man, I am sorry. I'm not doing a good job filming. But the Barbie boat was awesome. Love that. And, you know, although there are more goodies here and there, and I don't want to bore you, and I don't want this to run over, um, suffice it to say that, yeah, I've been having lots of fun. These are all dollar store fabrics that I got that I thought would be neat. We've got the holidays coming up, and there's always a, a tag, a collab. So these old vintage cars with the trees and this cool pattern here. If you go to your local Dollar Tree, you can find all these cool fabrics. The Dragonfly, this really neat like turquoise aqua, the Flamingo, and this really cool uh, pinstripe pin. These are all at the Dollar Tree. And um, yeah, I have some other goodies, but this has been probably a very, very long video. Yeah, it has. And I just wanted to show you some of the things that I have been acquiring. Uh, tales, I think I should do Tales of the Mad Dolly Hoarder. But you know, when you got freebies and you know, cool little finds here and there, can't pass it up and so i hope you guys are finding finds go to your thrift stores i mean you would be surprised at what you find at your thrift stores i mean she's gorgeous beautiful dolls 1983 barbies just look around you never know what you'll find go visit uh your local goodwills i know the prices have gone crazy but yeah there's still lots of good finds out there so i'm going to wish you guys all a wonderful dolly day I hope you're collecting, and I hope you're hunting, and I hope you find lots of goodies. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.